carbon nanotubes to be used in cancer diagnostics and treatments. You never know that even after a long chemo session and radiation therapies, when again that little malign cell will start to spread and to end up in the formation of tumors. Medicines and therapies are there, yet we are helpless. But with emerging modern technology, we are moving beyond horizons. This is Earthy Birds with a new episode to reveal about nanotechnology and its usefulness for diagnosing and treating cancer. Carbon nanotubes, CNTs, are products that can be widely used. These are one of the most commonly mentioned building blocks of nanotechnology. They can be long, short, single-walled, multi-walled, open, closed, with different types of spiral structure, etc. All the above mentioned types have specific production costs and applications. The CNTs, carbon nanotubes, are formed of a process like arc discharge. I.e. in 1991, the CNTs were formed in a carbon suit of graphite electrodes during an arc discharge with a current of 100 amps which was intended to produce fullerenous. Another method that can be employed is laser ablation. In this process, a pulsed laser is meant to vaporize a graphite target in the presence of an inert gas in a high temperature reactor. The process takes place in a chamber. As the vaporized carbon condenses on the cooler ends of the chamber, it is where you can get nanotubes. The new technique is based on a method termed as reprecipation. In this method, a compound is dissolved in a solvent, e.g. DMSO, and injected into water. Carbon nanotubes provides broad horizons with drug loading capacities and good cell penetration qualities. These nanotubes carry a large inner volume that act as a drug container along with large aspect ratios for numerous functionalized attachments. Injecting multi-walled carbon nanotubes, MWCNTs, into tumors and heating them with quick 30-second zap of laser gives proven results for destruction of kidney tumors up to 80%. The tubes, when non-invasively exposed to laser-generated near-infrared radiation, respond by vibrating, thus creating heat. If enough heat is conducted, tumor cells near the tubes begin to shrink and die. Here, two methods are conjugated, i.e. paclitaxel PTX, and water-soluble SWNT. Biological systems are known to be highly transparent to 700 minus to 1, 100 nm near infrared and IR light. This can help in targeted cancer cell death for oligonucleotides transported inside living cells by nanotubes. The oligos can translocate into the cell nucleus upon endosomal rupture triggered by NIR laser pulses. Continuous NIR radiation can cause cell death because of excessive local heating of SWNT. The functionalization of SWNT can achieve selective cancer cell destruction with a followed moiety. Selective internalization of SWNTs inside cells labeled with followed receptor tumor markers causes NIR triggered cell death without harming receptor-free normal cells. Three fluorescent and fluorogenic molecular probes were designed, synthesized and characterized and subjected. The formed probes were used in analysis of receptor-mediated endocytosis and drug release inside the cancer cells, L1210-FR leukemia cell line. The process was undergone via convocal fluorescence microscopy. The specificity and cytotoxicity of the conjugate have also been assessed and compared with L1210 and human non-cancerous cell lines. With an overture of modern technology, now lethal diseases like cancers are also curable. We just need to bring in the latest techniques to serve humanity. On this note, this is Earthy Perks signing off, with a hope that one day, we would be able to win the battle against cancer completely, where it would not be able to take any precious life anymore. Till next time, stay tuned and keep watching Earthy Perks.